Well, guys, an amazing story about the perseverance of the Word of God. There is a new book that is out right now called Walk On, and the book is by Ben Malcolmson, who is a former player for the USC Trojans, who actually won, where he was on the 2006 team that won the Rose Bowl that year. Ben Malcolmson's story is very interesting. He originally did not really, he was not really that interested in playing football. He went on to try out because he was more of a sports editor. He was actually writing for the university paper at the time, and he thought that maybe it would help further his journalistic experience if he tried out for the team. Well, not expecting to make the team, he actually did. He made it as a scout reserve and ended up on this team. And throughout his time on the USC Trojans of that season, he tried multiple times being a Christian to start up different prayer groups, different Bible study groups, all of that, but nobody would attend. As much as he tried, he was doing everything he could to share his faith. He was, he was about ready to give up, but he didn't. He kept persevering, and he, he prayed, and he asked God what he needed to do. And he, he remembered the scripture from Isaiah chapter 55, where he said, if you put his word out there, that it would not return void, that it would go out there. So he had this idea to contact his grandfather, who was actually volunteering for the Gideons group there for a while. They had a hundred Bibles. He paid for a hundred Bibles to be shipped out to the team, right directly to the USC. And that's when Malcolmson put all of the Bibles in all of his teammates' lockers as what it was going to be a Christmas surprise, was they were getting ready to play on their big game for January 1st that was going to be the big Rose Bowl game. Well, to his surprise, he went into the locker room and he found all of the Bibles shredded across the locker room, guys. I mean, everywhere. Bibles, pages were ripped to shreds all over the place. He felt completely defeated. He did not know what to think about this. It was heartbreaking to him because he really thought that he was doing the work that the Lord wanted him to do. Come to find out, a couple of weeks later, the kicker for that team had tragically passed away as he was found at the bottom of a cliff. However, during the funeral, on his casket was the very Bible that Malcolmson had put in his locker. It was on his casket, which showed you that he actually got hold of the Word of God before he died. Now, here's the real crazy thing, is that years later, now Malcolmson now is a, he's, works as a director for the Seattle Seahawks, and he helps assist head coach Pete Carroll there right now. Malcolmson was reunited with another teammate who played on that 2007 Rose Bowl champion Trojans, where he told Malcolmson that he saw the kicker reading that Bible a couple of days before he passed away and said that he started a relationship with God at that very moment. And then now that teammate has now started a relationship with God because of that. So if it wasn't for him sharing the word of God with his teammates, even though all those Bibles were ripped up everywhere else in the locker room, that kicker might not have been saved and he may have passed away. He may have died without knowing Jesus. So that really shows you right there, guys, that none of this stuff is a waste. You could get a, you could get a thousand denials from people if you try to lead them to Christ, but if you could affect maybe one or two out of that group of a thousand people, that's what truly matters because that literally saved that kicker's eternity of where he was going to spend eternity after he died. It's truly an amazing story, guys. If you want to read more about it, I'm going to put a link in the description below. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because sometimes we just need to have a little, little something uplifting in our spirits with all the craziness that's going on in the world today. So I hope that blessed you guys. As always, guys, your comments and your feedback welcome down below. I would love to hear from you. Please give this video a like. Also, share this video with your friends and family. And if you are new, please click that subscribe button, browse through, and check out some of the other great video content we have here for you at the channel. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.